Hi everyone, so I wanted to talk about some possible upcoming Urban Decay releases. I did a little digging for trademarks, which I've done before. This is something anybody can do, um, but I was just Googling. I was just feeling inspired and I was reminiscing about the Naked Cherry video that I did last year. Was it last year? Whenever it was, just before Naked Cherry came out, um, and how I found the trademarks for that and for the Naked Honey palette and all that sort of stuff, I just decided to do a little bit of digging and I found a few interesting things. And then I ended up coming up with a couple palette ideas. Uh, a few people have mentioned that they missed my palettes I wish existed, and I have two. I just haven't been inspired, but this inspired me. And I have already done a full Urban Decay palettes I wish existed video, which was done quite a long time ago, but the products I came up with were inspired by the names of the trademarks. I don't know if they're going to be palettes. I don't know what these products are going to be. Uh, you don't have to specify what they are with the trademarks. It's just cosmetics, so it's hard to guess, but that's what this video is about. Just sort of some guesswork, some possibilities. I was really inspired by this, so I do have my notes in front of me here. So the first thing that I really noticed was that Urban Decay is going to be expanding their Stay Naked line. So they recently had come out with a foundation, a concealer. There's also a corrector or a set of correctors, uh, so you can kind of create your own custom color for correcting and they also include the Vice Lip Chemistries as part of the Stay Naked line although it has different branding so that's kind of odd to me that they have these sort of lip glosses from my understanding from what I've read about the lip chemistries that they're supposed to react with your natural lip color and they're sort of like tints basically but for them to keep them within the Vice world of their lip products seems a little weird because they also very clearly specify on their website that this is part of the Stay Naked line. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. So the first trademark I found was Stay Naked The Fix. And since the line already does consist of the foundation and the concealer and the corrector, I was thinking what could the Fix product be? My first thought was a setting spray because I'm very clearly just thinking about Fix Plus. They already have another spray called Quick Fix, so I don't see it being a setting spray. It doesn't count it out entirely. I thought maybe it could be a face primer, something that's going to fix, because uh, they don't have a lot of face primers, so they could very easily see that being included in the Stay Naked line. It could be a powder because it could be, be something that's supposed to maybe control oil or something to do, you know, that quick fix. Uh, it, not that it says it's a quick fix, it just says the fix. Maybe it's some other sort of mixing product as well. The Stay Naked branding seems to be very much along the lines of Stay You, Stay Naked. And when you look at some of the advertisements and some of the models, it's very simple base makeup, but then playful other areas. It's not like neutral makeup. It's not like the naked skin sort of vibe. Uh, it does seem very similar. <laughs> they, they are just really running with the word naked, but it seems to be like the emphasis on the eyes or maybe a colorful lip and then everything else is fairly neutral and bare. So the fix could be a face powder, which would fit in very well, but there's another Stay Naked product, Stay Naked Threesome, and there's a stylized trademark as well. So when you look at the stylized trademark, it definitely looks like it's something that's going to go on a palette. And when I think threesome, I think three products seems to make the most sense. They have had other uh, sets branded with threesome. They did the Naked Threesome, which was the Naked 1, 2, and 3 palette. They had a threesome set of eyeliners. They might have had some other things as well, you know, kind of the Urban Decay play with on words with uh, sex and drugs. That seems to be sort of the Urban Decay theme. So threesome makes sense, but based on the stylizing of threesome, it looks like it's going to go on a palette. And I was thinking, what kind of combination of things would be a palette and would it be like a face palette? They do have the uh, like naked flushed palettes, which are kind of questionable. And I hope that they don't do something like that. Again, just having all of those uh, products together, the bronzer, highlighter, and blush, because I don't think they executed it very well. In my opinion, I have tried them before and I wasn't crazy about it. Now they could do it better because what makes sense for a threesome for a face, if it's a face palette, would be the bronzer, highlighter, and blush, that would make sense. But it could be powder, it could be some other combination of things. I don't see it being an eyeshadow palette, like a little trio 
really wouldn't make a lot of sense. In my opinion, I think that Urban Decay has so many other eyeshadows. They have other opportunities to brand eyeshadow palettes and other things they could do that'd be more interesting than trios because I don't think a lot of people are very interested in trios, but it's still a possibility. I think there's a lot of options of what the threesome could be, but just based on the stylized trademark, I think it's going to be a fairly substantial sized product. It's not going to be something tiny. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys think the uh, Stay Naked threesome would be. If you have any other ideas besides uh, eye or face, or even if they are eye and face, what you think it would possibly be consisting of. I am a little stumped just because they have used the threesome before and it's usually just a, a combination of three products. So I'm, I'm curious as to what they would do with that. And I'm, I'll be interested to see uh, should they move forward. They do have some dead trademarks as well. So it doesn't necessarily mean these products are going to come into existence, but I think it's probably pretty likely if they have gone to the point of stylizing the trademark, it's probably going to come pretty soon. And the last trademark I found for this whole Stay Naked line is Stay Naked Juicy. And at first I saw it just listed with the words so it wasn't stylized like the stay naked threesome then i found the stay naked juicy stylized very similarly to the threesome trademark so i think it's going to be uh, somewhat of a similar idea this seems to be where they're headed with the branding for this line they really seem to be trying this uh, expansion of the naked line but i think there might be some little hesitation there which is why they didn't rebrand the vice lip chemistries and why they kept them as vice because if those were successful they could kind of keep it on with the vice and it doesn't have to stick with stay naked whereas if stay naked isn't successful is it profitable they would end up getting rid of it as they do discontinue products sometimes that just don't hit the mark like they think they're going to. So the Stay Naked Juicy, initially, before I saw the stylized logo, I thought lip gloss, that was my first thing. But then with the Vice lip chemistries, it wouldn't make sense for them to have lip gloss. They have so many lip glosses as well already that it doesn't really make sense for it to be a lip gloss. And I don't really see it being another product, but just Juicy, that was like lip gloss, lip balm, something like that. But they have so many of those products already existing. It doesn't seem like it would make sense. Then I thought maybe blushes. Blushes could be something that would fit well. And I thought maybe it would be like a uh, little cream blushes. That's missing from Urban Decay. They don't, they have uh, the Shape Shifter palette, which is the cream contour highlighter thing. That's the closest they would have to like a cream blush sort of product, which I think would be very interesting and could really play in with the playful vibe, something uh, along the lines of the Glossier Cloud Paints. They do have similar style packaging with some of the uh, glitter gel things they have. So I could see like that tube sort of product and it could be very playful, very light, still staying with the Stay You Stay Naked. So very neutral skin and very, you know, natural looking base products. I could definitely see that being something. But then when I saw the stylized logo, I thought, you know what, this looks like a palette and it could be an eyeshadow palette. And I thought this would be kind of boring potentially if they were just going to do another warm eyeshadow palette, because let's face it, Urban Decay doesn't tend to do a lot of experimental things anymore. Not saying the products aren't good. I think the Naked Cherry palette is really pretty. I think the Naked Honey palette looks really pretty as well, but it's not very adventurous and it's not uh, setting trends. It's just kind of following them. And that's been a thing with Urban Decay for the last couple of years. They haven't really been breaking barriers and they probably won't be with this. Let's be real. But I just thought like, what would be the difference between a like a juicy eyeshadow palette and like the Naked Cherry? When I think juicy and I'm thinking those warm berry shades, I'm thinking essentially what the Naked Cherry palette looks like. And then I came up with my own idea of what a potential juicy palette could look like and I did throw in a couple of those warm shades as well but some greens something more like citrus juicy instead of berry juicy thinking more along the lines of like lemon lime that sort of uh, perspective of juicy which I think could still be fun it, it doesn't I try to when I create these sort of like dream palettes to also somewhat stay within the brand wheelhouse and not go too out of the box because I think this would be somewhat realistic because there's that mix of sort of matte metallic shades. There's a lot of wearable tones, nothing that would be super dramatic, um, but it could play in with what I think some trends are going to be where we're going to see some 
you know, one and done sort of shades, which could very well happen with a palette like this if they were to go that route. This is just what like inspired me, that sort of tropical, you know, sink your teeth into it kind of juicy. And I would like to see something like that. Not that I'd necessarily need it for myself, but I just think it would be really pretty. I think uh, you could do very glamorous looks with it. It could be a very great like spring palette, uh, spring into summer. I could see that being uh, very light and fresh and would go with the stay naked. You could still have the very neutral skin and then just have like, you know, like the simple wash of green on the eye. And I think it could look really pretty and stay with the, I know I'm using pretty a lot, but I think that could potentially work for a palette if they were going to create a palette with this, which I don't really see them changing from the whole naked vibe because they have uh, already expanded the Naked palette collection with Naked Cherry, with Naked Honey. So I don't see them doing Stay Naked Juicy and have it laid out exactly the same as a Naked palette, but that's what I took my inspiration from, just because it's an easy layout. So this is just something that I dreamed up that I think could potentially work within the Urban Decay world. Uh, the next product is kind of boring, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. They have a trademark for Inked Brow, uh, so I think it's gonna be a straightforward brow product. They do already have a uh, ink and pencil duo for brows and it doesn't seem to be very popular. So I could see this being just a very simple brow product. I think that it could go with the whole Stay Naked vibe if it's uh, the emphasis is on base and keeping everything simple. I think brows have been fairly simple. I don't think uh, we're gonna see like really drawn on brows, but some people do really like those uh, pen style, which is I just keep going uh, with because I think inked and I think liquid. I don't think of uh, like powder, I don't think of even something like a dip brow, which is quite possible. It could be more of a brow pomade that they're calling inked brow, depending on how they're packaging it. But this one definitely does seem like a go uh, that we're gonna see this added, but I don't see it being a huge splashy release. It's probably just gonna come along with a few other things. The last trademark is a very, very new trademark, and this is something that they are calling Stoned Vibes, which I think really fits in with Urban Decay so well, because they do that whole drug reference thing all the time. So initially, I thought stones, I thought jewel tones, and I started envisioning like, the jewel toned Urban Decay palette, and I thought of metallics, and then I realized they've done this. They've thrown in those sort of jewel toned like duo chromes, they had the After Dark palette, which is actually the, the palette I ended up using uh, for my base model when I did my own design. Um, but they have like the heavy metal palette, they've had sort of jewel tones in metallic formulas in a lot of different palettes, and it hasn't been very successful. And I know there are quite a few people who want those rich, uh, like luscious jewel tone shadows. I just don't see us getting that from Urban Decay. They're, they're too safe to do that, and I just feel like they, they are not, progressive enough to really just give us exactly that. And then I started thinking more about it and I thought, well, stoned, you know, if it was that sort of play on words, if they're looking at sort of like a stoned vibe, so you have perhaps someone under the influence of drugs and kind of, you know, what you think of, like the stereotypes of kind of what people look like and you think of like the like smudgy, uh, smoky eyes and, you know, that effect. At least that's where my mind goes. And I thought stoned, I thought stones, I thought cool tones. I thought about shades of gray. I thought about a maybe a new smoked eyeshadow palette, a new smoky eyeshadow palette. They've done these sort of cool tones before, thrown in some grays. They haven't been very successful. Uh, they just really weren't up to par to some of the other Urban Decay formulas, and I think that was the issue. So I designed my Dream Stoned Vibes palette uh, with a mix of matte and metallic shades, some various cool tones in there. I threw a red in as well because I thought <laughs> nothing says stoned vibes more to me than like the red smoky eye, and I thought that this was the mix of uh, finishes that would still make this very wearable. Like on the surface, it could look kind of overwhelming, but I wanted to have a similar uh, sense to it like the um, Colourpop Smoke Show palette. I wanted it to feel similar to that one, uh, which I think is a very wearable palette, and I think it, this is what a lot of people have been looking for now because we are sort of inundated with the warm tones. We're really, really over it in general. I'm saying we, but I mean me, but I do th hear it from other people as well, is that they just want more options. And I think that Urban Decay has such a good formula, so 
often that they could really have that mix of matte and metallic which they do so well in this little cool toned palette like if i imagine it being 10 shadows sim like a not a big long naked style palette but just like the after dark style so i thought it really could be on trend and urban decay has done the cool tone palettes before they have done the smoky palettes before and i think something like this would really work with that title stoned vibes which i really love and i really hope it's an eyeshadow palette i can't think of what else it would be uh, i did sort of think it might have been glitter or something along those lines but they have the heavy metal glitter and i don't really see them deviating from that uh, i can't see what else stoned vibes would be it, like i was going through it in my head and i was like could it be a lip product doesn't really work seem to work for me in, in my mind and I was like could it be a cheek palette I don't think so you know I maybe highlighter but highlighters kind of dying out and if Urban Decay was gonna have like a stone vibes highlighter I feel like that would be like four years too late and they've already done sort of like the more crazier color things that didn't work out so well so I really hope it's gonna be fingers crossed an eyeshadow palette and fingers crossed it's gonna be something cool toned I want those cool metallic shades so badly that I'm really just kind of dreaming it putting it out there wishing it into existence but this is a new very very new trademark so uh, it could mean that this product is still quite a long time away I do find that they have to file trademarks quite early and Urban Decay is one of the few brands in L'Oreal's their, their parent company um, so it's either it's usually filed by L'Oreal but sometimes it's Urban Decay as well they kind of go back and forth and they have different trademarks and different abbreviations and I think they're very protective of their creative property which is very nice to see not a lot of brands do this so it's fun to get a little peek into what they might be developing and just sort of letting your mind wander and think about it and it could be months if not a year or more down the line before these things actually exist but it's just fun to kind of think about so that's all this video is is just me talking about the trademarks and my thoughts and opinions on what these products could possibly be i hope you found this interesting uh, these trademarks are available to view you can google for yourself if you are interested and you can always do searches for other brands and stuff as well uh, let me know if you have any questions comments or concerns if you'd like to see any more videos like this i really enjoy playing makeup investigator it's definitely a lot of fun for me so anyway let me know if you'd like to see other similar things or if you have any other video suggestions i would love to hear from you thank you so so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and i hope we get a chance to chat soon bye for now